In a new TV documentary Dr. Michael Hunter tells how he dug deep into the double Oscar winner's medical records to discover she was born with the condition lymphedema distichiasis syndrome or LDS. This is usually hereditary and is caused by a mutation of the FOXC2 gene, which in her case led to the growth of two extra rows of lustrous lashes above her eyes, which appeared to be an intense violet color but were actually dark blue. The quirk of nature that enhanced the appearance of the Cleopatra actress is also Ironically, almost certain to have contributed to her death from congestive heart failure in March 2011 at the age of 79, according to Dr. Hunter. He revealed his findings in a new episode of the series Autopsy, The Last Hours of, which has just aired in the U.S. In it, he unraveled the long and complicated medical history of the screen beauty, who starred in 50 films and married eight times. Dr. Hunter said, this condition gave her the extra eyelashes that helped define her beauty, but he added, LDS can also affect the normal function of the lymphatic system, which is the network of tissues and organs that help rid the body of toxins and assist in fighting infections. This could explain why Taylor was prone to pneumonia and there is also evidence that LDS can cause heart defects, explaining a faulty mitral valve for which she underwent an operation. Although the one-time Queen of Hollywood claimed to have conquered her personal demons years before her death, Dr. Hunter said, there's no doubt that her addictions to alcohol, prescription drugs and smoking would have been factors in her death, in hospital on her 79th birthday, just 24 days before her death, Taylor was told her only chance of survival would be to undergo immediate open-heart surgery. She refused. Dr. Hunter said, what's interesting is that, in the end, Elizabeth Taylor, a fighter and survivor, chose not to fight anymore. Instead of choosing surgery that may have prolonged her life, she chose to take control over her death.